What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Old Fire Dynasty. Today's a dark and gloomy day outside. A lot of rain, so the camera might look a little different today. We don't have that nice, bright sun coming through, but it's okay. And to be honest, in, in all reality, it's better to shoot in this type of lighting. Most of the time when we shoot in broad daylight, it like washes out our footage. And of course we could get like ND filters and put over the lenses and things of that nature. And I have that stuff, but it's on the, the big camera. So I got another camera. This is like the smaller camera that shoots in like 4K. So I use this, my vlog camera. But today's video is me basically going over my mindset of trying to become an established artist in the industry. That's like my focus right now. Well, at least one of my focus focuses, you know? Like I want to become an artist that has done something so that now I could be recognized for at least that one thing, you know what I mean? But I could be recognized on the internet, which is globally, worldwide, for basically eternity. So if you do something and it gets a publication to notice it, and they do an article about it, then you can now take that publication and apply for a wiki page, Wikipedia page. You, know, so you have somebody make the Wikipedia page for you and you submit it and if they approve it, now you're golden for the rest of your life because your Wikipedia page is the main internet encyclopedia like for the world, you know, and there's a bunch of different wikis. Like it's a lot of different wiki sites, and they 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 do they do work, but the Wikipedia one is like the main one. So all the search engines use that as their main source of information for the individual or a company and so, or so forth. You know? Another thing they use is your website. So like. It's cool. Like, I do notice, like, I've been noticing a lot of stuff. As I've been, you know, making my rounds on the internet, I still use the internet. Like, I browse stuff. I don't I don't really communicate with people no more. I, I stopped that. But I browse still. And I've seen stuff, like, people that I used to, like, you know, and stuff. And I see the things that they're doing. I'm noticing, like, a lot of people, they, they were actually learning from me. I was actually people's role models. Believe it or not, I, I know this. I know that now. I know that I was actually people's role models. And a lot of the things that they're doing now is that they, they were learning from me. Literally, I'm telling you, like, they, like all the stuff that I was saying, uh, all the knowledge that I was just giving out, but I was giving out by just doing what I was doing, they were learning from me. So pay attention, guys. People be learning from you all the time. And even to this day, like, people will watch my videos and they go pick up something. So, reason why I'm saying that is I know I would never get credit. Nobody will ever give me credit for what they learned from me. They, nobody will ever do it. It's not going to happen. But I do know. And so I'm going to continue to teach. You know what I mean? I'm going to continue to teach. So this is like a lesson for you guys and you girls. So in order for you to get a publication, I mean, well, to get your, to get a, to, I guess you could say get a publication, you have to do something significant. You have to. It's just there's no way around it. You can't just be a regular any anybody because they're not gonna come looking for you. It has to be something about you that they're gonna be like, all right. You know what I'm saying? And then once you get that publication, you you try to turn it into a wiki page. And when you turn it into a wiki page, and you're forever. It's like the dictionary. Like you're forever embedded into the internet, and that's my goal. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to. I guess reach out to like some of my contacts. Like I don't like to do that. I don't like to talk to the people that I know from the past that are in the industry. They're established in the industry. They have their Wikipedia pages. They have their companies going. You know, they, some people are still sign. Some people are not signed. You know, there's a lot of stuff that, that has transpired throughout the years. But one thing I don't like to do is I don't like to reach out to anybody. I don't because a 
if I was to try to reach out to you, I know one one of the questions you're going to have is, "Am I ready?" And uh, there was a lot. There was a, a a portion of my life where I thought I was ready. And there was a portion of my, of my life where I knew I wasn't ready because of like if somebody would put something in front of me, I knew I wouldn't be able to handle that task. So now I'm at a point where I'm like, I, I'm like ready. But I'm, I still know I just a couple more things I need to do and learn, and perfect myself before I'm like fully, fully ready. So I don't reach out to people for that. And another thing is I don't reach out for people because I don't want people to say like, oh, he just coming because of this. So even though I know people in the industry, I don't reach out to them. I, it could be family, like literally family. I won't say nothing. They could literally put me on in like a day. Like, yo, I'm I'm gonna connect you with this person, connect you with that person, and then I will just be, and then it's on me. I now I have to show and prove. I have to work. I have to make dope beats, or whatever. If, if if that's the case, if it's for graphic design, I have to make dope art. If it's for rapping, I have to come with it. You know, if I, if it's for me writing a song for somebody, well, I have to know how to write that song really, really good for somebody. It will be on me. But then I don't want to put somebody in that type of predicament. Because what if I don't succeed? What if I struggle? What if I fail? Then it's going to make that person look, you know what I'm saying, bad in a sense because they recommended me. So, and also another thing is I don't, I don't like, I don't want the rejection. I don't want, like, I don't want somebody like being like, they don't want to do it. Also, I got either the, the rejection for somebody or they're like, oh, I don't want, I don't want to help this dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that either because you might know somebody, but they might not even like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to think about everything, man. Or put everything into perspective. And things change. The years change. People, the people that you knew years ago, they might not be the same people. They probably went through a lot of trauma, trials, tribulation, or they might just be happy and just comfortable in their position. They don't even want to mess with like the music game anymore. It's like so many. You have to think about all the variables before you're going out there trying to get people to help you and stuff like that, or put in a good word. So yes, I, I I I don't do it, and I'm not going to do it because it's just it's not the way I want to do it. Now, but I do have a couple artists that I still speak to though. So one of the artists, she's dope, man, she's dope. So she's on classic. She's she's a hip hop legend. She is a hip hop legend. She's been on classic records, okay. But not only hip hop though. She's been on R&B. She she sings. She's 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 immaculate. One of the best voices I've ever heard in my life. I mean, and I'll say her name. I, I usually I try not to name drop on these videos, but her name is Shalene Thomas. I just got off the phone and you know, talk with her, and she was like, "Yo, what's good? Like, you know, what I mean? like you, you, you said we, you know, we're gonna do this song." She wrote the chorus for the song too, and you know, I actually did the chorus that she wrote, but it's her chorus though. So, but I just did like a mock, you know, what I mean, like uh, like a draft of it, and. You know, <laughs> then she's she was like, "What's good? What's good?" You know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, "All right, let, let me, because I got to get a studio. Like, I, I don't want to do it here. You know what I'm saying? At, at this spot, I'm trying to get a professional studio. And I'm trying to do it myself. See, I know professional studios. Like, you know, I could get hook up from like, you know, say my family that's recording right now in the professional studios. But I don't want to go that route. I'm trying to do my own thing. So I want to get a studio, and that I feel comfortable at, and then bring her along and we go record this record. And it's funny because. I it was like a, a, I disappeared on her, but I disappeared on everybody for like a good two months, almost three months. I was gone. I, I had to rekindle myself. You know, a lot of people are not gonna respect it. I know they're gonna be like, oh, you know, he should have said something. Like he he didn't handle his business, but no, it was one of those just dropped the ball. And now I feel so comfortable with myself. I feel so good as a person, as a human being with myself. I'm glad I stepped away from everything. Sometimes you, if you drop everything and come back, you feel so good, man. I'm trying to tell you guys here, guys. Anyway, so she now she's waiting. You know what I'm saying I don't mean to keep her waiting, but we're gonna get the record done, recorded, mixed, mastered. I'm, I'm gonna have all the professional people do it. Like I know what I could do at home, so I'm gonna make sure that the beat is tight. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure the beat sounds good. And I'm not talking about like how I made the beats in the past. Uh, these are gonna hit harder. They're gonna have that impact. They're gonna be mixed to fit on all platforms, all devices. It's gonna have that width. It's gonna be good. And then we're gonna go record it. And I'm just gonna leave it with the mixing and mastering engineers and let them do what they do. 
So I'm just saying that to say this. I'm going to be on my road to become an established artist. And my plan is to work with established artists already. So, and, and they always say, you're not supposed to tell your plans. They always say, don't tell your plans. But I don't care. Like this, this is not like a plan that I just came up with. And it's like a, the golden ticket and, and nobody should know about it. People are, have done this already. And, and and people should know how to do this. Like I, a lot of people hate me. Let's, let's put this out there. A lot of people don't like me, son. They really don't like me. But this literally not what is like I I don't care. I don't I don't have hate or animosity. I don't have hate or animosity towards anybody. I don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? All the stuff that people said about me, is it, you know, it's not it doesn't it didn't bring me down. It's not gonna tear me down. Like I said that in previous videos, because that's that's who I am. So I literally can look at the people who disrespect me in the face and be like, yo, what up? Cause you know, like I know, like I know you feeling some type of way because of something. You know what I'm saying? So it's on you to get over that. It's not on me to get over anything. I got, I got over like, why? Well, I, I, it's so easy for me to get over stuff. So I, I don't. It doesn't linger with me. It's not lingering with me. You know what I'm saying I, I could keep a grudge if I want to with stuff, but I don't do that. I mean, cause it doesn't it doesn't matter. And so on you as a person to get over what you whatever you have with me or whatever you have that's happened in your life that have to have you be this type of person that you are right now, you gotta get over that. And then whatever you have with me, you gotta get over that with me. Like I, I can't do it for you. You gotta do it yourself. So my goal is is to, you know what I'm saying, the people that I still have connection with in the industry, get songs done with them. Then since they are established artists, I am now working with established artists in the game who have done stuff in the past or maybe in the, or now, in the present, or maybe in the near future. So they, they have like, you know, they have publications made about them. So they have articles, they have interviews, it's proven document on YouTube and so forth, or just on certain websites, publication websites. So now when I work with them, now I essentially become an established artist i'm working with established artists but then once my stuff gets published and then i get publications to write articles about me like who's this new guy you know what i'm saying oh five dynasty you know what i'm saying he he did a song with shalene thomas he did a song with i'm hypothetically speaking um reek the villain or he did a song with hypothetically speaking words from true legend or he did a song with hypothetically speaking um jay hood you know what i'm saying established people you know what i mean like you know and there's more people, like, you know, I mean, I could just throw off the top of my head, but, you know, I would like to do a song with Jay Hood, though. I, I respect him, you know, I respect him a lot. I think that'd be really dope. Um, so, if I could get these records done with these individuals, and plus, I'm not, I'm just saying dumb, you know what I'm saying? But it could be anybody that's dope and, you know, that, that we, we gel together, then I'll be on my way. And... I'm also thinking about a lot of other stuff, going back to street promotion. Uh, and another thing is looking to see where there's shows at around here. So if like if this is show at like Hofstra College or something, or Malloy College, or like Nassau Community College, or SUNY or Westbury, or things of that nature, the colleges, or you know, I'm just thinking like just places that have shows, and I, I book a session, and I go in there and do my shows, I'm thinking I could call a publication. Hey, I'm doing a show at this time. Can you come send one of your writers down to come do an article? I mean, it's going to be recorded and everything. And then they, if that's the case, I pay them some money. They go record or they go and just do their article. That's a publication. It gets documented on the internet. Then I could get on, I could apply for my Wikipedia page and I'll be set. I'll be going for like, I'll be there. I'll be established on the internet. So that's one of my main goals. So I, want, I do want that. I do want, you know, I want to be successful as a musician and so forth. I, you know, I get that. Everybody wants that. But my, one of my main targets right now is to get, get that Google page to be professional, professional. That's my main goals. So your boy, old five days, he about to eat this grub. I don't eat on camera. I respect you guys and you girls. About to have my water. And I'm going to record a couple more videos. I try to do like three in one day. It's your boy, old five days. I'm out.